Hello, my dear friends. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Today I will speak about the time. Until now, you were looking for liberation. From the oppression of time. You were looking for liberation from the hurry. From the speed of the modern society. From the control by the society. And now, and by now, you have liberated yourself. You have been looking for liberation from time, and you separated yourself from time. You shifted to the space of no time. You shifted to the space of the divine. You shifted to the heart chakra and higher chakras which work beyond time, which work in higher dimensional world. And as you shifted high, you might have noticed that it becomes but that it could become harder to be in your body, to live the physical life, to manifest things in physical life. And you might be surprised. And you see where I'm going with it. Time is a part of space-time continuum. The building foundation for the life on Earth. Breathing involves time. Heartbeat involves time. The complex machinery of the modern civilization is built on time. A seven day week, a seven day week is an invention which helped the humanity to become a machine. Look at this machine. Yes, it is oppressive. Yes, it is repressive. Yes, it is corrupt. Yes, it is in a crisis. But still, look how much beauty is in there, how much harmony is in there. What the earth have built is unique. Powerful. And it is a playground for billions of souls. Now you, you found the liberation from this playground. You shifted away from the civilization. You found a seclusion. You found a salvation. You escaped in the inner world. You escaped in no time area. I invite you to come back. I invite you 
to look down in your human life. As you move up, as you ascend, take other humans with you. For that you need to come back and take them. Take on yourself two tasks. Choose to take on yourself two tasks. One coming up and one coming down. Up and down. Sometimes you can focus on one task, going up, reaching up to the sky, reaching up to the higher vibration, reaching up to God. But also choose to look down, choose to calm down, choose to ground, choose to land, choose to take roots on earth. Because I ask you, take the earth with you, take your humanity with you, take your civilization with you, go together with your civilization up, ascend together, ascend as a group, ascend as a network. As breathing, as heartbeat, as walking, as dancing. Time to go up. And there is also time to go down and ground. And as you excel in it, as you become proficient in it, as it becomes second nature to live life on earth as a human, You can easily do two tasks at the same time. Be in the sky and be a human. So I invite you, come back to your human body. Inhabit it. That's the reason you are on earth. To be in the body and do the work as a body. Be a light worker in a body made of light. Many of you avoid negative people avoid people of lower vibration because it is painful it is unhealthy for you to be in their presence you might avoid your relatives you might be avoiding your close friends close friends of the past And for many of you, it, yes, it might be dangerous for your health to dive back in a lower vibration because it might be disturbing. It might disturb your harmony. It might disturb your protection. You might lose your purity. You are too holy for that. But also many for, of you with practice, with training, could actually learn to go down, dive down into the mainstream reality and survive there for a while, at least for a short time. Do some work there. Come down to people of low vibration, of low beliefs, of tension, Take on yourself a work of a healer and come down and heal others. It takes practice. It takes innovation. Embrace that idea of a joker, of a trickster. You cannot seriously go down and pretend to be average. You cannot pretend to be normal. Being a trickster is a possible role for a light worker. 
Don't be too serious. Be compassionate and yet smile. Dive in, take roots, do the work, and carry with you the light. Carry with you with the connection to the divine energy. As you repeat in yourself the mantras, as you repeat in yourself the cycle of breathing of the divine energy, as you carry on yourself the area of the aura of protection, the aura of divine protection, the, the divine mission, as you carry the light, you can go down, step down, and work on the ground. Be ground workers. Look at, an, at your alien friends. Many of, the, of them come down. Many of them go from their higher dimensional, multi-dimensional reality. Collapse some of their dimensionalities and dive into the earth reality, which is very dense for them. Very dense, but compassion is moving them. The idea of service is moving them. So they come to serve. They come to ground for a short while before coming back to their lighter reality. So you can do the same. So can you. You can dive for a short while into heavier reality to help others, to experience it, and to resolve it, to solve it, to solve the problems of it. And you, as you are diving, you may discover many souls who are waiting for you. Many souls who hold the fire, but need your help, your knowledge, your knowledge of how to come up, your knowledge of the higher mechanics, your knowledge of the healing, your knowledge of the path. So coming down, you can share the knowledge of the path. The telepathy is already here. The telepathy already works. It's hidden. It cannot be misused. Okay, it can be misused. It's hidden. It is sometimes misused. It's hard to prove that it is here. But as you observe, when you talk to people down on the ground, on their language, on their language, on their language, in their language, they read between the lines, they read your mind, and your mind speaks to their mind and transmits to them the path. They gain the idea of the path. First, they reject it from fear. They reject it from fear to dis disintegrate, to lose the harmony, to lose the whole, the, com the perfection of their confusion, to lose their confusion. Because their confusion energizes them. It is a way for them to survive, to stay in the confusion. But as, as they read your knowledge, as they read your message of the possibility of the other path, as they read from you the understanding of ascension, as they experience in you a being from higher levels, higher vibrational levels, they relax, they stop being afraid, and they understand they are one of us. They are 
coming from above. They are as bright souls as we are, just confused. Their consciousness has been divided and fragmented and confused to a high extent. By bringing your integrity down, you bathe them, you clean them in higher vibrational energies and that purifies them, that breaks their disintegration, breaks their fragmenting, that integrates them, unites them. So come down. It takes practice. Now you learn how to be one with God. You learn how to stay high. You became addicted in, to staying high. And it's good. Now realize you have to face your human path, your human side. You are, you are asking how to manifest. You're looking for ways to manifest. Realize manifestation comes through becoming one with a wave of time. Timing is essential. Time is a building block, a building wave of this 3D reality. Realize you create time and you create the world through time. So start playing with it. Start gardening it. Exercise. Look at your smartphone and guess first what time is it and then turn it on and look. You'll be surprised. You know what time is it. Very often, precisely to a second. Precisely to a minute. How is it possible? Because you create this reality. And as you become whole, and as you become holy, Many veils dissolve and you create your reality in a very magic way. You create your reality through the code and that these codes start to bleed through your perception. So when you guess the time right, it's not the time was right, it is that you create the time right. You create that minute. You create that screen on your smartphone. It's all within you. It's your creation. So manifest. Play with time manifestation. Try. Play. Try to predict the timing of the events, especially random ones. At what time something will happen. Sometimes it's called clairvoyance. It's often called telling the future, but in fact, it's not telling the future. It's telling the future what to do. It is making the future. Even more, play with making the past. The past is also your creation. So you can create the past. If you lost something, 
It's not because you misplaced it or not because somebody misplaced it or not because some ghosts moved it around. Poltergeist, not because of poltergeist. It is because you are tired and there is a glitch in your manifestation machine. If you cannot find something, it is you failing to manifest it. Manifest something, a, a thing, a belonging. So create the past. From that point now, come back to your body and create the past where you place the thing in a place where you can find it. Define it in a generic way. Just desire to have placed this thing somewhere where it can be found. And play with it. Just breathe, meditate on the idea of creation of the past. Play with ideas of manifestation. Become a master manifestor. Carry with you that peace. Carry with you that meditation. At any time, at any point, when you dive down in the body, dive down in the physical world, you are a manifestor. You have that mechanism. You manifest through formulas, declarations, through the words. You manifest through words. So carry with you the idea of right speech. And speak to yourself. Speak to your program. Speak to your manifestation module. Give it formulas. Pay attention to what you say. Pay attention to what you think. Make the formulas right. If a negative thought comes to you, don't push it away. Own it and transform it into a positive. Transform it positively. Positively. Become a transformer, a positive transformer. That's one of the major functions for you in this incarnation. To be a positive transformer. Transform yourself. Transform your surroundings. Transform your reality in a positive direction. Become a positive transformer creator. Create positive solutions. And recognize some of the problems are unsolvable. <laughs> so don't fight with nature. Don't fight with unsolvable problems. Just recognize them. Oh, this problem is unsolvable. Check mark. Done. Whatever. And move on. You have the tendency to feel a failure. And close your chakras, close your heart chakra when you meet a resistance. When you meet resistance, you feel to be a failure and your energy goes away and you become sad and you despair. Don't, don't. Just smile, say whatever. Remember. Many problems are unsolvable, and you are as strong as you want. You can have as much energy as you want. On one condition, you stay positive. You keep breathing, keep the energy flow, smile, and take more energy on yourself. Take better assignments on yourself. Don't judge yourself too harshly judge yourself just enough to learn the lesson 
If something is unsolvable, just accept it. Just accept it. If you are late, you can play with time or just accept. Huh, I'm late. I ran out of time. Whatever. That's fine. Don't sweet, don't swell, take it easy, relax, keep your work in a relaxed state. There is an inner knowledge behind, inner knowledge inside, that you are connected to God. You are a vortex of light, and do, you do your work to the best of your ability. That is all is needed. That is all that is needed. Relax and do your work and smile. And now I invite your comments and questions. Hey, hey. Hello, Yogananda. This is Marianne. Hey, Marianne. Thank you for speaking. You're welcome. Well, I missed the first five minutes, but anyway, um, <laughs> time. I couldn't get, I didn't understand how to get on again, how to turn the speaker on. But anyway, I wrote it down this time. Um, anyway, last time we talked about time because my heartbeat has been beating irregular. And you suggested, you know, going to some water, developing some ritual around water. I was looking for living water, so I really, I thought about the ocean, but I'm not close to the ocean, and there's, the rivers are pretty high around here, so anyway, I also read some articles on walking around just on, you know, barefooted, so I'm doing that, and I'm, wow, and this lying on the grass is amazing under a tree, I just did it about seven o'clock. And oh my gosh, it just, you just, it's just, there's a relationship between my energy and Mother Earth. And it was so relaxing. I just, ah, oh, love Mother Earth's <laughs> energy. Beautiful, very peaceful. And I realized where I was holding stress in my neck and I let it go. And I was really, really, really relaxed walking back. I was smiling at people and. I felt like I was in a deep meditation or something. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now. And my heartbeat has been getting better. And I've been drinking more water because, I'm, you know, I'm not going to a body of water, but I'm drinking more water. And I think that's helping. But I eventually will find that body of water that you talked about. Um, yeah. Um, if you're just walking down, if you just walk down, you'll get to water, right? That's mm -hmm. the role on earth. If you walk down, you'll get to water. Maybe yeah. you have to walk far enough, but there should be some water around, a creek, a pool, yeah. a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, look on the map. <laughs> okay, I will. All right. Um, Drinking more water is great. And another secret, breathe more air. <laughs> okay. Don't, not at once, but in general, during the day, notice that how you hold your breath. Because of the sadness, because the air is not clear enough, not fresh enough, or maybe there is some else in the air so search for healthy air for fresh mm -hmm. healthy air and whenever you get find it <laughs> get it oxygen <laughs> oxygen you need to combine food with water and with oxygen that's simple but modern society somehow learns trains people stop to stop breathing most of the people breathe less than needed. Only at night, at a certain moment, they finally find their easy breath. But only at night, only at a certain moment, only at certain parts of meditation. Remember that breath and come back to it as often as you can. Because 
You need more air. Air is good for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. And air is timing. With air, with breathing, you create timing. You work on timing. Your timing is created by your breath and your heart. It creates your timing. Hmm. Work with that timing. Uh. Don't overdo the the barefoot and laying on the grass. Only as long as it is healthy. Because sometimes you can overdo it and you get a little pain here and there. So, if you get it, learn mm -hmm. to pull it away and throw it away. Pull it away and throw it away. It's easier when it just entered you. Just too much of the ground and too much of the cold. Sometimes cold, that's cold energy gets into you. It's just warm it, warm it and pull it out, pull it out. It's You do it with your hands or just mentally, just warm it and pull out the cold energy. It's easier mm. to get, if you jump in cold water, don't overdo it because you have to stay warm. It's nature of human biology. Your cells like your temperature, whatever it is. 27.7, uh, 98 point something. You need, they need, if you, if you cool them down too much, they start, and uh, if they're not used to that, they start the program of that cold energy. So you have to warm them up and keep them happy. Stay warm, breathe lots of air, stay grounded and stay warm. Mm. And hug the tree. Hug a tree. Hug a tree. Hmm. <coughs> and when you hug a tree, it's not a single tree. You unite with all the plants. They are usually they have collective mentality, hive mentality. So working with trees, you unite with a forest. Usually you can unite with a forest. Speak to them. They are <clears throat> closely related to the energy of human souls. Trees are humans. It's just another another manifestations of human energy. Trees are humans. Kim. Hey, Kim. Hi, Max. Yay. Hello. <coughs> I'm getting tired. How oh, are you? I'm wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Nice energy. <laughs> yes. Allah, Allah, What's your joy today? Um, would you be able to um, send some healing energies to my husband? He injured his, um, his kind of tailbone or hip yesterday. What on the hip? Um, I think it's inside the hip where the, uh, the legs meet the hip bone, the mm -hmm. joint area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is more like a tendon, right? Tanda, or I don't know, it's really deep within, so it's hard to tell. It's this deep pain that's happening. Mm -hmm. Or a nerve, or a tendon, or both. Mm -hmm. Some kind of soft tissue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's chant together, just almost sufficient. I will send some energy, capture it. Okay. Um... <gasps>
so it will go away gradually it would take some time <laughs> some time but it with your attention and his attention be gentle to that area and uh, try to move that pain away down below just kind of stroke it try to move it with your fingers mm -hmm. down below so it moves the cell there the tissue there is not damaged by itself it just believes that it's damaged so if you move it at pain that trauma that impression of trauma it can the energy of trauma can can be released mm -hmm. and the cells can easily come back to normal it's not mm -hmm. irreversible at all mm -hmm. and of course try to prevent the future trauma of that kind it is a lesson of staying more coordinated staying more coordinated with time and manifesting a better reality it is just you have to be living on earth <laughs> yes <laughs> right so it is a lesson so as long as soon as you learn the lesson as soon as the lesson is internalized in your spirit it the trauma should go away should be released mm -hmm. very good lesson mm -hmm. can i ask a, a different question a, a separate question just but a somewhere. second and um, oh. play with the idea of tiger bomb tiger bomb yeah just play with it it's a joy it's a toy it is uh it's something which could substitute acupuncture okay because it, it works in a similar fashion so play with acupuncture points just google uh, them <laughs> okay okay yes this is a different question on timelines yes to, to help to positively influence it um when there, sometimes it feels like there's a lot of pressure going the other direction for certain situations and events that happen. How do we positively move it and kind of release some of the pressure that builds and make sure or kind of either even it out from where it is or try to move it towards the more positive? Look at the martial arts. In martial arts, it, it is often an idea that you don't fight, instead you meditate. So do a meditation instead of fighting. Do a meditation instead of pushing. But after mm -hmm. you meditated, when you did the inner work in the etheric world, in the astral world, the proper energies come your way so they make your work easier and then mm -hmm. when you have proper tools and energies you can you can actually do the work easy so it's still work but for the work you need right tools and energies say you have a bicycle and you need to screw, to tighten a screw, or to try to tighten a knot on the on the wheel. Without the proper tool, you cannot do that. So it is it is a struggle. But if you ask someone to borrow a tool, it is a few seconds and you're done. You see, it's about proper tool and proper understanding of the situation. Until you know what's wrong, until you, until you know what screw is loose what that is loose you're in trouble but once you know once you realize that it's easy easy so it is a dance it is a dance one leg in the spirit one foot in the spirit one foot in the physical reality mm -hmm. so you have to do both and sometimes it is hard to do both at the same time so one foot for forward then second foot step with one foot forward and then the second foot so do the dance both sides meditation physical work meditation manifestation meditation manifestation and pay attention to timing sometimes it's really hard to do certain things now and later they become 
Easy, easy. And one more trick. <laughs> one more trick. Hmm. Have more rabbits in your head. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if something doesn't work, if you push hard and things don't work in that direction, Mm -hmm. It really helps to have a second project and a third project. Just pretend you're working on something else. And that something else will give you an energy or a clue or a skill or just will distract, uh, distract something in the resistance of the reality. Mm -hmm. When you are successful in something, that success is a flame and it is infectious. So do something easy. When something doesn't work, when it is hard, you push, push, and it's really, really hard. Do something you can do, something really easy, something nice, pleasant, and easy. And that accomplishment is a fire which will you can use to kindle a bigger fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Take it easy. Relax. So, if something is hard, relax. <laughs> and then, and then collect yourself. Connect. Collect more energies. And just wait. Wait until a proper tool is placed in your hand. Until proper energies are with you. Until the wind blows in the right direction. Wait for the wind to blow in the right direction. Invite it. Pull it and wait for it. It will come. Practice on the clouds. When there are clouds around, invite sun and meditate on the sun to come. It is a very good model. When you are in proper state, you can arrange clouds to open just enough so you have a little bit of sun. And you know that you manifest things. It, and, and you cannot do it by pushing hard. It's is the other way around. You ask and meditate for the clouds to relax. It's something which is done in a meditative, relaxed state. Chant. 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 Repeat mantras. Yes. Repeat mantras. And carry with you that vibration of peace. Carry mm -hmm. with you that vibration of peace. Whenever there is a minute, repeat mantras and put proper meaning in your mantras. Mm -hmm. You are a light worker. You work the light. You are light. So that system has to be built and strengthened. So mantras are the phone line, no, it's not the phone line. Mantras are the power line that brings power to you. Not immediately, but in proper timing. But that mantra allows you to connect the, to the energies. You say the mantra, invite the energies and wait for them to come. And sometimes they're not supposed to be coming. So instead there is an answer. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Whatever. So I'm done. Check mark. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That answer is also the answer. If you received it, you got the check mark. You're done. And oh, sometimes the answer is, it's your choice. It's a lesson. <laughs> so you do the choice, and often it doesn't really matter what you choose. It is an experience of choosing what matters. So sometimes it's more important to make a choice. And see what happens. You know, in many cases, it is okay to do make your own choice. In some cases, it's not okay, right? Mm -hmm. Like with drugs, it's not okay to make your own choice, <laughs> <laughs> right? Or with driving, it's not okay to make your own choice. But with many things, it is okay to try. So making a choice could be with no information, just intuitively, just understanding that it is you're faced with a dilemma which you have to solve now. 
So you you choose whatever, whatever feels better, and then see what happens. Okay. <laughs> That's very good. So the the your, the pressure is not time itself. It's the, to give that to give it time so that when it feels right is when you make that move or make the decision. The timing, yes, the timing. Hold on a second. You generate the time with your breathing and heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And the time is part of manifestation. It is how you make things happen. The time is the wave property. It is fluid. It has waves. And your you are used to moving time back and forth. It is called dreaming, imagination. So practice that shift back and forth in time and um, see how you can work time. Time can be worked. You can partner with time. Partner ha time has energy of fluid with heavy fluid with inertia. And it can vibrate. Say again. How do you partner with time? <laughs> through love. Okay. Through love, through compassion, through choosing to serve, through the choice. It is keeping the connection with the higher purpose. That's the, the key. So you speak to time and say, I'm doing that for that specific reason with a positive attitude. I, it's my choice to do this positive thing and I need your cooperation and you send it loving, healing energy. Often you... <laughs> often you are too impatient and sometimes it's the other way around. You ask to, for too many things and at once you get all of them and you can't handle them. <laughs> so that's where mantras are great. Well, that's where that peace is great. So you, you swim, you swim and dance and balance things. And that's where you make choices without having information, but you have to make choices. And keep your head high, keep your spirit high, and just learn to handle things. It is practice, it is training. You are a light worker in training. Mm -hmm. So learn to manifest time. <laughs> breathe. So when you work with time, breathe. Think of breathing. Remember to breathe with peace. Remember to breathe easy. Relax. So work in a relaxed state. Remember to feed yourself. You manifest things. You manifest things through your body. So your digestion is part of manifestation. Remember to feed yourself. Remember to relax. Remember to sleep. Remember to be nurtured. And nurture the time the time wave nurture the time fluid it also needs your nurture it's made of the same energy it's made of love so through love you work with time you partner with time you negotiate with time it is just part of you time is part of you accept that part of yourself Thank you for asking. Thank you. <laughs> Work with time through laughter. <laughs> Anything else today? What kind of healing meditation do we want today?
How about a pink gray? All right. Wait. Sit down or lay down comfortably. Prepare for meditation. Relax. Release things. Be in your body. Relax your body. Be comfortable. Keep breathing consciously, deeply, easily. Be in peace with your breathing. Breathe at your own timing. Allah Feel love. Love is coming through the breathing. Love is coming through listening. Open yourself to listening. Allah ya You can take as much love as you wish. It feels warm. It fills your heart. It fills your body. It spills over your body. Allah, 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 Allah. Because love is you and you are love. Allah, 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 Allah. Um, 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 um. There is no limit for love. It's only up to you to take it. You are made of love. Your soul has more love than your body can imagine. So take as much love as you can. Allah. It feels warm. It feels like crying and laughing at the same time. It comes through your heart and fills your body. It comes through your blood. Your blood starts to shine you breathe in the shiny pink light the shiny pink air each <laughs> each particle in the air each cluster of molecules in the air shines with light you breathe in Little puffy balls of shiny light, like snowflakes of light, just fluffy snowflakes of light, come into your body through your breath. Take the breath and take in the love through the light. The love comes through the air. These are little snowflakes of sunlight. Snowflakes of sunlight caught in the atmosphere. They're shiny, they come to your breathing and get absorbed in your blood, so your blood starts shining. Your blood glows. You are the angels. You are the angels coming down to earth carrying the message of God, and the message of God is love. 
Na 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 ma ma. You are the angels. You are messengers of God. You come to the earth with a message, and the message is peace. You carry the message of love and peace. Relax yourself and carry the message of relaxation to others. You are rooted to the ground. You are rooted to the reality. You are living in the reality of 3D world. You are a messenger of God. You are roots of God. You are roots of your soul. You are roots. You carry the living light from above through yourself down to this reality. You are shining. You bring the light to this darkness. Om ha Om You forgive you forgive yourself you forgive yourself in the past you forgive yourself in the future you forgive others because others are reflections of you and you forgive yourself. Amma. You shine the light of love on your pains. You pour the healing fluid of love on your pains and traumas. Your blood is healing. It is glowing. It carries love. It carries love through your bloodstream to all parts of your body. You are rooted in your body. You are a soul rooted in your body. And through the body you manifest love into the world. Um, uh, you love yourself. You love everybody near you. You love everybody in the world. You are love. Everybody in the world is made of love. Everybody in the world is you. You are one. You are united. Keep breathing the light. Breathe the light in. Take it in. Um, Bring your sadness to the surface and heal it. Cry your sadness to the surface and heal it. This love meets the sadness. This light, this glowing, pulls the sadness to the surface and heals the sadness. You don't have to carry all the sadness of the world in yourself. Um, um, it's time to let it go, time to heal the sadness. Um, um, time to heal the fear, time to heal the fear. Allah, 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 Allah. It's okay to be sad. Allah. The rain of love pours onto you and washes away the sadness. Sadness is not you anymore. You are filled with love. Sadness is gone. Amma, amma. It is only a memory. It's only a memory. It is healed. It's only a lesson. It is healed. 
You are a tree bathed in the sunlight. Sunlight makes you live. You are alive because of the sunlight. The sunlight is love. Sunlight feels warm. You are rooted in the ground. You are one with the earth. Amma, amma. The earth sends you the earth energies and they meet the light within you. The love of earth and the love of light meet within you. Amma, amma. You have as much energy as you wish. Amma, Allah, Allah. You are connected to the highest one. You are connected to the highest one. You have the direct connection. You are connected. You are the drop of the ocean. You are connected. You are the universe. You are connected. Allah Amana Now make a conscious effort, relaxed, conscious effort to bring the idea of hexagon within you. Allah And, um, it's a honeycomb pattern, a hexagon, a honeycomb, honeycomb. Um, uh, um, uh, and, uh, um, a golden hexagon, um, uh, and, uh, glowing golden light in hexagon shape. Just drew it in your mind. Draw it in your mind. It's a basic structure, one of the basic structures, one of the sacred shapes, one of sacred shapes that build builds the biology, builds the life on Earth. Hexagon. Um, 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 um. Relax, relax. It's part of the tree of life, hexagon. It's one of the building blocks of the tree of life. It's one of the building blocks of the fluid of time. Hexagon. Allahumma, Allahumma. Allah, hug it. Become, a, become part with it. Become one with it. Join it. Use it as a tool for manifestation. It is part of you. It's part. It's a building block of you. Put it in your treasure chest. Keep it on hand. Make copies of it. Many, many copies. Use it as a tool for manifestation. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Oh, 
Put it in your heart. Put it in your blood. Lots of hexagons in your blood. They carry your connection with time. They give you the ability to be friends with time and to manifest through time. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. It gives you the connection to the tree of life and to the flower of life. Allah, 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 Allah. It would be another geometric connection, another symbol which connects you to the flower of life and gives you an easy way to take energy, to accept energy, to accept love. So it's another key, another key for accepting love. Allah, Allah. Now go back in time as you have the key. It's easier to enter your childhood. Remember your face, remember your image, remember your vibration of a child. Connect to your inner child. Happy, loved, full of energy. Perfect. Allah. Connect to all children of the world. Happy, loved, perfect. Allah. You have that key, you have that power. Be one with all children of the world. Unite with them in energy, in happiness, in perfection. Om, om. They are not yet spoiled. They are not yet spoiled. They are not yet broken. They are perfect. They are a symbol of future humanity, children of the world. They are manifestation of love. They are us. They are beautiful. Allah, Allah, Allah. It's okay to be a child. It's okay to be perfect. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. Allah. Smile, smile, smile. You are beautiful, you are loved, you are perfect. And you have easy work to do. It's easy, easy, easy. Relax. I will leave you in a couple minutes and you can stay relaxed. Now bring the idea of a vortex within you. Just spin a vortex counterclockwise, relaxed counterclockwise vortex, relaxation vortex. Allah 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 Relax, relax. Keep that relaxation. Keep that connection to the idea of no time, no space, complete peace, complete harmony. Unwinding vortex. Unwind, unwind, unwind. The more you unwind, the more perfect you become. 
Connect to the idea of sun, of sun, of solar flame, of solar light, of solar love. You are sun. You are the light of the sun. And place this hexagon and this vortex in your heart and surround it with ball of golden light. Ball of golden light. Ball of golden light. You are perfect. You are protected. You are loved. You are one. You are united. Um, Peace and silence, peace and silence, peace and silence. 